Good afternoon, everyone. It's D Bailey. I hope everyone is well. Today, I want to do a quick video. I don't want to spend too much time, but I want to go ahead and put this out here. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, leave comments below if uh, you find any of this information helpful. If you have any any uh, additional questions, um, please be sure to like and share the video. Your engagement with the channel helps us grow. Uh, which in turn allows us to bring you uh, additional and improved content as we go. All right, so without further ado, I want to expound on a uh, topic that I did in the previous video. If you have not already uh, viewed the video, please be sure to check it out. Uh, the topic, I believe, is uh, collaborating with family members in real estate. Okay, but I want to, uh, today I I want to stay on that topic, but I want to expound and extrapolate that over to um, just life in general. I um, I was watching the news this morning, uh, news on Elon Musk and how he was acquiring um, Twitter. Okay, the whole Twitter platform. All right, and in this, you know, it give me it began putting some thoughts in my head as it relates to how um, generations interact with one another, how we improve ourselves uh, for the betterment of, you know, wealth and just our, you know, our, our, um, our family, so to speak. Okay. How we improve as we go, just like anything, uh, we're expected to improve as we learn more, uh, as more resources become available to us. All right, so I found from experience and just observations that, you know, throughout the span of my life, you know, we send our children off to college. Uh, we send our children out into the world and, you know, to grow and learn. We pour resources into them, you know, doing just that. However, when those uh, when those children, including myself, when we come back, do our families take advantage of those resources, which is our knowledge and our education? Do we take advantage of those, you know, that growth in those resources, um, and and grow and learn from that? Okay, uh, from my understanding, that is the whole point of sending our children off. Um, I think. In the past, what I've observed is what I've observed is that we send them off with the whole intent of, or the simple intent of, you know, getting a job, which is limiting, tremendously limiting. Okay, uh, education should not just be for getting a job, and I think that's where a lot of uh, cultures, a lot of families, a lot of, uh, you know, institutions go wrong. For whatever reasons, we, uh, you know, we become threatened, or some become threatened by the growth of our, um, our offspring, that you know that that new generation. Some people become threatened by that, and uh, which limits the the benefit of them actually going off and you know acquiring those resources and actually uh, growing from that, rather than you know using that to our benefit, we, we limit ourselves by whatever internal issues that we may have, all right? Uh, a lot of times it, you know, presents itself as jealousy, uh, fear of learning, fear of, you know, new ideas, fear of um, just, you know, things changing, all right? That's what, you know, ultimately it can be boiled down to, you know, just fear of changing, all right? Uh, and what I've learned is that a lot of, you know, conflict, results from those, you know, internal fears from the, you know, previous generation. Okay. Um, there's another, you know, another aspect to it. We I've noticed that, you know, that newer generation go off, get that education. And rather than going back to the previous generation and getting that, getting that counsel. Okay. And when I say getting that counsel, I mean, expounding on what the prior generation had gone through, okay? Because I, it's, it's very unwise to for that younger generation 
to go out into the world without getting that foundation, getting that foundation established. Okay. I think the, the, the fault, not the fault, I'm trying to find the word, but the, uh, the, the error is coming into the world with the mindset that because you have that education, that you know everything. That's absolutely false. There are certain principles. Uh, you've heard the idea that, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. And I found that to be true. I'm 44 years old. And my parents are still that, you know, in me, I've, I've heard that, I've actually observed it. And it is absolutely true, okay? Um, so what happens is, you know, the newer generation, what I've noticed, go out into the world because of whatever issues that they may have. They get the education, they leave home and say, I'm wiping everything clean. Um, I'm starting fresh. And the error in that is, you know, the error in that is you're losing years and generations, thousands of years in many cases of wisdom that could be used in addition to that new education, that new knowledge that, you know, that you require, you know, as a result of going out into the world. Uh, keep in mind that there is a difference between wisdom and knowledge. OK, they go hand in hand. They they, uh, they create the, create the perfect synthesis, you know, to go out into the world and and let's say make things better or improve the world. All right. So, in essence, to, to actually to sum it up, the perfect synthesis: wisdom plus knowledge. In this case, I would like to use the word education. Okay, using those per you know using those two principles putting them together and going out into the world, all right? And making things, you know, better. You have the perfect, you have the perfect um, set of tools, so to speak, for lack of better words. You have the perfect set of tools in your bag, all right? Um, what happens is, you know, not doing so or not using that formula, you're going out into the world, you're using the education and you're, you know, you're turning the wheels you're losing wills because when you get to your forties and your fifties, you're gonna eventually, you're going to eventually come back to that same wisdom that you should have acquired in the beginning. Okay, all right. Um, so I would say it's wise again, put those two together, save yourself 10, 10 years, you know, your whole twenties, save yourself that time, go back to the wisdom Okay, go back to the foundation, humble yourself, go back to the wisdom, acquire it, and move forward. Everyone becomes better. Okay, you have an older generation, uh, put your trust into, you know, put your trust into the new generation. Put aside your, your jealousies, your fears, um, open yourself up, humble yourself, and, you know, know that there's there's something to be learned, including myself. All right. Um, this is nothing new. It's just, in my opinion, it's, it's ignored. All right. It's, um, it's ignored. It's a gap between the generations. Okay. Uh, your son's a doctor. Your child is a doctor. Your child is a lawyer. Open yourself up to what they've acquired. You've invested your time into, you know, you've poured time and resources into that child. Don't waste that, okay? Don't waste those resources. Humble yourself, be wise, and trust that they, they've acquired information, they've acquired knowledge, skills um, that could benefit you later in life, all right? Um, they're not little Johnny, they're not little Susie anymore, okay? They are now Dr. Susie, okay, attorney, uh, you know, fill in the blanks. All right, these are, you know, these are principles that we all could use. Uh, ho hopefully, I've, you know, I've imparted to you guys or I've communicated in a way that you understand. So if I have not, you know, please forgive me. Uh, put the, you know, put your comments down in the, you know, comment box below. 
and hopefully I can improve, uh, prove the point, impart it in a different manner in the next video. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, and uh, please share with someone that could possibly benefit from this piece of wisdom or this nugget, so to speak. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.